Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Malcolm. It's time for episode six of season seven of Agents of Shield, the real Shield. Let's get to it. We have their location. Malik's son captured Daisy Johnson. They are divided, and Alfonso McKenzie's parents will force them into the lighthouse. They are reckless. They have begun to bend under stress. We must continue to adapt. Okay, they're growing on me. The Chronicoms are, rather. Ah, damn! There we go, that's the shield I know. As it has been the past two episodes. The celebratory barbecue chastity. That's not your real name, is it? Melinda May. I'm not an HR liaison. All right. I think he got that from the bag of explosives. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> we have the hot dog With the Quinjet docking. Keep scanning and re-engage cloaking. Glad to see you. Where's Malik? It's complicated. We went there, he was waiting for us. He's dead. I shot him. That wasn't the order, is it? I checked every camera feed in the lighthouse. No sign of them. Can't be out my strongest fighter. Dig stick put. Damn, that hurt yo yo. To be fair, she might be better regardless. To get in there now. There's another reason. It's a trap. I don't have a choice. Which is why I'm coming with you. And there's no debate on that. Love you, yo yo. The system is running on its own. Anything computerized has been hijacked. Agent, do not fire on that ship until I tell you to. Go downstairs and rip out the mainframe if you have to. You're too late. Sir, missiles are away. Love that. That's plenty. Damn. Come on. Hey. You know, I know. Daisy, you can move things without touching them. And you, you either fought the crowds in diapers or you're aging much slower than the other 60 something that I know. Yeah. So what you could do. Whoa. <laughs> you haven't even seen the half of it. I really hope not. And a cool thing to say, by the way, your whole vibe is just great. <laughs> I love Nathaniel. He's a piece of garbage. You start with her. What the fuck? Nathaniel's face just awful. shut out of plane for the good age. Hell of a mess you made. Enjoy your time in prison. Easy, Coach Hack. Try to hold ourselves to a professional demeanor. Sorry, sir. She touched her. The woman. I felt nothing. Chronicom. Like you. She's a Chronicom. Nice. Nice. This power upgrade she's got is working out. I'm sure it has. But if you do what we say and we keep moving, we will get you home. <laughs> I love you, Mac. And you find cover. And you don't have to call me, uh, sir. It's, it's just Mac. Mac more. You never die. You always come back. You know how many times I've mourned you? I'm not doing it again. And I'm certainly not doing it for a decoy with a simulated personality. Thank you. Damn. There she is. And General Stringer's next. Shit. She said we'll replace your face. She's slim. <gasps> what the hell? Sorry, brother. <laughs> Stop screaming. <sighs> Bring another hunter up for the next conversion. Never keep you back to a door. <laughs> Go ahead, May. So, consider my yapping as a way of passing on the favor. We are going home, Agent Johnson. You hear me? We're going home. But you have got to fight. I love Susan too. Not as much as I love Daisy, but I do love Susan. <laughs> I love that fucking dig.
I know he thinks he's doing the right thing, but I don't give a fuck. What have you done? I know he means well. I know. How long before Enoch get some respect in this bitch? One of many pressing questions, but you seem to answer anything I ask. I see no reason not to. Then this should be interesting. Who? <sighs> no, you... Damn, we'll fix the implant. Oh, don't worry. I'm far more likely to blow a hole through space time than Diana won't matter anyway. <sighs> Duct tape. I love Gemma so much. No. <laughs> <laughs> And he has a gun or something. Can you take his gun? Is it you? No. Oh, shit. They act irrationally to prevent themselves or others from experiencing death. Chronicoms cannot die. Time has no consequence. You should ask yourself which category you fall into. Mm. So the fact is, dying? It's kind of my superpower. I love that exchange. Shit, I forgot her name already. It starts with an S. It's kind of goofy. I like her too. Shot. Is he dead? He'll come back. Always does. <clears throat> yes, you want an apology? I don't know if anyone said this yet, but thank you for saving us. You're welcome. Oh no! Are they Chronicoms? Check his arm. You said he heard it. No, no, he can't be one of them. We're goddamn time before What the there. fuck? Check his arm. Check his fucking arm! Show me that you're all good. You, please, show me your arms. Really? <laughs> it's, it's nothing. Episode 6 of Season 7 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., The Real S.H.I.E.L.D., as it has been the last three episodes. I, um, I, I, listen, you have to understand where I was coming from. I'm not backpedaling, I'm not making excuses, I'm just saying. 
I constantly waited for season six to hit that next gear, that level they usually hit five episodes in. I always remember season four. There's a yo-yo episode in Miami. Yeah, I felt like the season was just okay up until then, then it just, and that seems to be the case every season outside of season one. They just, episode four, five-ish, they hit it and they keep going. And I was waiting for season six to do that, and to me, it just never quite did it. And if it did, it, it wasn't as, mm, as every other season was. Was that high expectations for season four and five, and three, and two, um, possibly? But season six to me, just kind of fell flat. Not bad, but flat. So when season seven started out much in the same way, almost um, Legends of Tomorrow-ish, quite frankly, which I like as a show, last time I watched it at least, um, but not S.H.I.E.L.D. It's just two different ballparks. We're talking fucking MLB versus AAA. Um, I just figured this is where we are now. It has kind of jumped the shark. It happens. You go from great to okay. It happens. I was wrong. I apologize. I'm sorry. I know it's the last season, but it will never happen again, one way or another. Because these last three, this is what I've been talking about. This is what I was looking for. That reveal of Max's parents, <sighs> that hurt. That was rough. And to me, it was a great episode, or a really good episode before that. That reveal took it to great. And then Mac tossing his mom out. You poor fucking bastard. Oh my god. All of the characters just clicking. All of the additions. Enoch always splendid. Um, Susan, to me, fits right in in his role. I love his relationship with Daisy. Um, I don't know if I want any more than that, but... I love what it was this episode. Daisy, a gangster, a soldier of the highest order, as she has mostly always been. Um, Gemma. I like Coulson and May. Oh, May and Faye Coulson. I like what they're playing May's uh, emotion thing, especially as it relates to Coulson. As it relates to other people who touch her. That's a nice little thing they added there that's played off several times the last few episodes. Um, Deke is a nice... I just love this show so much. I'm sorry. I apologize. I was wrong. Please forgive me. Um, not wrong. First few episodes. <laughs> but I, I was concerned. And I, I, I had no reason. <sighs> Stoner is fantastic. I always love that actor whose name I can never fucking remember. Um, that's not what I talk about. It's making me forget. I forgot. Gemma, Souza, Deke, May. Right? There's still no fits. There's still no fits. One of my top 15 favorite characters in television history. Um, my favorite Agent the Shield character. It has not even appeared yet. And we're already rolling. I can't. Now, on to what happened at the end of the episode. Mac and Deke are now uh, stuck in 19... Was it 76? I forget when, but a while. Um, I want to give Mac a pass. I don't think there's any way he would have made it regardless. Even if he listened to Deke right away, snapped out of it. Been able sprinted, not gonna make it. Um, he didn't even make an effort. I understand he's fucking distraught. His parents are dead. His parents were killed. That's how they take faces and a pile of bodies. Wow. I, I'm gonna give him a pass. I'm gonna give him a pass. Um, I was going to blame him for Deke being stuck too, but that was Deke's choice. I was going to pass. Damn. It's going to be a lot of interesting things happening. I got to admit, the Chronicoms are, are growing on me. I forgot her name already. Uh, the chick Chronicom. 
predictor. Uh, but I, I liked her a lot this episode. Um, she's calm, she's pleasant, she's polite, but it comes from a uh, non-fear of Coulson and S.H.I.E.L.D. in general. So it's not like she's a good person. She's not, not afraid. There's no reason to not say what the fuck it is. So, answer your questions. I love that episode. I love that episode. I love the last three episodes. I'm so happy. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.